He had a passion for motorcycles. Tonight, bikers are remembering one of their own killed by a suspected drunk driver. Good evening and thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Justin Pizzera. And I'm Megan Matthews. Mick's biker buddies say his tragic death is making them more careful on the roads. Came to the Action 3 News reporter Kelly Bartnick is live with the story. Megan, that was just part of the message today at a family benefit in Council Bluffs. Motorcycles come to Council Bluffs by the dozen Sunday. Even with so many here, it's hard not to notice one is missing. Just tell myself he's out of town. But I know that reality is probably going to come pretty soon, so it'll be hard. Tanya Reesberg just can't get used to her husband Mick being gone after spending a lifetime together. 20 years this year. It's hard to go to sleep. He died on the Interstate 480 roadside early June 23rd. Police say this man, 24-year-old Victor Perez, admitted to drinking when he went the wrong way down the interstate and hit the 42-year-old biker. That's the hardest part the family has with the tragedy and how shocking it was and it was from someone else's stupidity, you know, that took the life of a family man. Reesburg's friends opened their pocketbooks today. Anybody want to go better than 20? We got 20. A big crowd for the man his family says had a nickname for everyone known to his friends as Big Mick. And we rode with him a lot. We hung out a lot. He's, you know, done a lot for us. And so we're just here to support him and his family. So many smiles here less than a month after his death. Still sadness, too, for these fellow bikers who have survived scary moments of their own. Just being in an accident myself, it hit really hard, so it was surreal. But it's the support in a bright Kawasaki green color, just like the bike Reesberg left at home that night on display today. It's support that makes all the difference for a family leaning on each other. To be a 24-year-old young man and still be on the streets of Omaha and to be able to take my husband away from me. It's just not right. Still trying to make sense of it all, knowing that may never happen. I've always been told you can't. Hold hate in your heart or you'll never heal. Perez faces felony motor vehicle homicide charges. He's also charged with leaving an accident scene. Friends are planning another benefit for the Reesbergs. That is set for July 27th at Whiskey Tango in Omaha. Reporting in the studio tonight, Kelly Bartnick, KMTV Action 3 News.